Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. This is a figure that has not so much eluded me as it just hasn't been part of my collection for a long time. I've always had one sitting on my eBay watch list. Um, and yeah, just last week or early this week, I finally decided to bite the bullet and grab this guy. Um, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine from Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, don't know why. I haven't had this figure in my in my collection. It feels like an obvious one to to have for Revenge of the Sith. Um, to this date, probably Revenge of the Sith is probably probably the one film that is probably least represented in my collection in terms of you know the amount of figures aside from you know Solo, Rogue One. But out of the numerical films, probably the least. Um, maybe Empire Strikes Back, but. But yeah, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine is one figure that has sort of always been on my always been on a list, but I've never picked him up. Um, same same with Elan Sleeves Bagano, which from Attack of the Clones, which I reviewed last week. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Um, yeah, so I was excited to get this guy in. I uh, just picked him up from eBay. The 2005 you know, problem I have on filming is the fact that this bubble is kind of domed. It's it's catching every little reflection of light there is in this room. But yeah, he's number 14. Nice picture there of Ian McDermott as Supreme Chancellor Sheev Palpatine. Supreme Chancellor Palpatine is captured by separatist forces and held captive on an enemy cruiser. Obi-Wan and Anakin come to his aid in a daring and dangerous rescue attempt. So we have Count Dooku, Bail Organa, Plo Koon, my boy, Battle Droid C-3PO. There is Padme, that's one that is also on my hit list. Agent Kola, Shark T, Kit Fisto, Royal Guard, and Mon Mothma, which is another one I'd like to like to add, Mon Mothma. Bail Organa. We've got the legacy one. That one's fine. Um, probably, I don't know. I wouldn't mind. If I found this one for a good price, I'd I'd grab it. But yeah, don't sort of see. Yeah, I, I wasn't really collecting when Revenge of the Sith was coming out, sort of in those sort of odd years of being, you know, 18 and trying to work out how to be an adult and stuff. And yeah, obviously it failed because I'm 36 and I'm still not a not an adult. But <laughs> look, you're only as old as you feel. You're only as old as you want to want to act, and that's that's how I live. So I wondered whether this had one of the little one of the little catalogs in it, but no, it doesn't. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Alright, that was way too much fun. So yeah, we've got the uh, the accessory with the little binders. So there's sort of clips. Clip shut. So we'll see how that goes afterwards. And I do love these bases. Remember stands. Remember how good stands were. 2004. In good times. Yeah, love a good... Love a good figure stand. And these were pretty cool. A lot of them were very scene specific, but... That's fine. So here he is. Still not... Not a bad likeness by any stretch, you know. It's you know now twenty years old. I think the sculpt's there. The paint looks fine. You know, these days they'd do photo real, and it would be you know immaculate and unreal. <laughs> For the time, I don't know. This still looks pretty good to me. I guess the only sort of bummer about this figure is you can't really have him sort of sitting down on the throne on the chair. Sorry. 
so yeah we're, we're going to see whether we can get these hands together enough that they can be in binders yeah okay that kind of works <laughs> it just popped off yeah look it, i'm sure there is a way to get them together like that a little bit more but you know for the most part he's just gonna might just have him sort of sit, sitting side by side with with anakin and obi-wan or even among the senators i'm not sure yet i don't know where exactly he's gonna go but yeah it felt like it was high time to um to add him to the collection to revenge of the sith do it all right that's enough of that <laughs> So yeah, articulation. He's just got a swivel on the head. Uh, he's got hinges at the shoulders. This sort of swivel, swivel elbows. So yeah, you're not really getting a lot, a lot of fantastic movement there. The swivels of the wrists. Um, I'm sure there's some added articulation underneath there. Maybe not. Yeah, there's some knee articulation, but given that the, the uh, this thing here, not going to be easy to come off, but you can sort of see there's some hip articulation, maybe a waist. Um, so I don't know if you were clever enough to manufacture some soft goods to replace the plastic over sort of over gown there, you could get him into a seated position, but... Yeah, it'd be nice to sort of have his hands sort of just just sort of clasped clasped together like that. You better give him heat him up a little bit just so he can sort of flex into that position just to soften the plastic and get him you know, this guy's been in packaging for nearly twenty years, so it's nice to nice to get him open. That seems to be holding all right there. That's cool. I think he's just going to go on the shelf like that, probably on the stand. Let's go find a find a spot among the early stages of the Revenge of the Sith. I do have the um, the old Saga Legends 2010 Anakin Skywalker, which I can't remember. That would be Legacy Collection. Uh, finding fighting the new uh, vintage collection Count Dooku, so maybe this guy could, maybe Palps here could sort of just stand and and watch that duel unfold. Yeah, he's not too bad. Again, I don't I don't know that this version of Palpatine is one that they'll revisit anytime soon. I think they'd definitely go for, you know, maybe an update for. Or a re-release of the previous Revenge of the Sith Darth Sidious that was released very early in the Vintage Collection, uh, based on his duel with Yoda, or maybe the red outfit. But yeah, love to hear your thoughts. Just a just a nice a nice figure to add to the scenes. Just um. Yeah, a nice a, a gap filler <laughs> while waiting for waiting for new figures to come out. It's nice to just grab these figures that I've missed all these years and just just add in fill in those scenes. It's quite cool. So I hope you've enjoyed checking this one out, folks. Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. Definitely a nice. Nice addition to the shelf. So yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you for another video very soon. Till then, may the force be with you. Do it. We would be honored if you would join us.